Hello everyone, this is Suzanne and God Kusha and Chatter. Welcome back. Today we are on devotion number six, Love Revealed. Today is Tuesday, March 1st, oh, the beginning of another month. Oh my goodness. And you want to stay tuned because tomorrow I will be announcing our giveaway. Yes, indeed. You want to make sure you watch for that video. All right, let's get to today's devotion. On my 50th birthday, my husband and my daughter planned my 50th birthday surprise birthday. Yes, and I was surprised to say the least. Well, in the meantime, I was working on a queen size rainbow quilt for my husband and our anniversary was coming up shortly after my birthday and he loved it and it was made with pure love as my birthday was in pure love. I remember when my mom and I were sitting in church one day, well one Sunday at worship, she kept looking at me with this, this loving care in her eyes and I kept glancing at her, and she'd look down at her hand. She'd look at me, and I thought, oh, no, she's not going to do that. She looked at me, and she took off her ring, and she gave it to me. This is the ring. Now, this was one of my mom's favorite part of her jewelry collection, and... She gave it off to me, and I put it on. Of course, I had tears in my eyes. I said, Mom, are you sure that's your, that's your ring? She said, no, I want you to have it. Well, wow, what love. When my babies were born, wow, I know I gave them that look of deep love from my heart. How can we know how much God loves us? We know how much God loves us because he sent his son to save us. How can we please God and light his face up with a smile? Oh yes, God smiles. Jesus revealed how to please our God. Jesus was asked, Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Please God by loving him. No lukewarm love allowed. God wants our whole heart, soul, and mind. David loved the Lord. He was consumed by God. I love you, O Lord, my strength. Therefore, I will praise you among the nations. O Lord, I will sing praises. God called David a man after his own heart. We show love by keeping his commandments. God looks into our heart, seeing the purity of our motive. Please God by loving others. Please God by loving yourself. Forgive yourself. Take care of your health. God has three parts, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Man also has three parts, spirit, soul, and body. Man has a body that can be seen and touched. The Spirit is our communication channel to God through the Holy Spirit. Our soul is the essence of who we are and includes our intellect, our will, emotions, conscious, heart, and mind. The three main parts of the soul are the heart, the mind is for thinking, the will is for decisions and choices. Your soul is the real you. Your personality, thinking, affections, desires, memory, and feelings make up your soul. Our soul is the center of who we are. Are and what we are. So God loved us first. How did he love us first? By sending his son to die on the cross 
his only begotten son. Wow. Can you imagine God looking down upon us and having so much of that love for us? He is willing to give his only begotten son. That we should not perish but have everlasting life if we accept him as Savior. And we pledge our life to Jesus, to God, to the cross, right? So, praise God by loving him because he first loved us. All right, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed that devotion for today. I sure take great pleasure in being with you every day. All right, I will be back tomorrow with another great devotion and our giveaway. All right, see you tomorrow, everyone. Bye.